All right, Sid, <laughs> what we got going on over here? Okay, so if we look over here, Chris, come in here. Um, over the course of the last year, we've talked about several of these center punches or centering devices. Okay, in other words, over here we have a split point bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, and one of the things we did the other day is we talked about drilling. Yep. Okay, and I showed how to always, you know, in a center point, how to uh, get a starting point, whether drilling in wood or steel. Today we're going to go through all of that, but we're going to kind of combine everything, whether it's a Vix bit, an awl, a center punch. But there's something else here on the table that I got to show you because I can't work without these, and I'll show you what these are for. Okay. Sounds okay. Good. So let's get started. Okay, so check it out. Early on, we did a video on awls. <laughs> I think we called it all or nothing. <laughs> but Big D learned how to use all, and what it does is it gives you that starting point, whether you're putting a point of a brad point or a forstner bit in there, or even for a split point. So go ahead and do that right there, Big Line D. Line that up. Yep. Perfect. Pew. Okay, good job. Here's another one I'm gonna do, and you're gonna see it's a really sharp point here, but I could take that and put it on you. You know how you had to press in on that? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take it like this and look at spring loaded. So that gives me a good stat. Oh wow. Okay. So here's one that I use a lot of the times. Most of the time for steel I'll show you in aluminum in a few minutes. But you get your center point here and what I want you to see is that says light and that says heavy. So I can adjust the tension. So when I put it on here, just like this, watch. Oh, wow. I just pressure it and it's spring loaded inside and I can control the pressure or the the amount of torque I put down on the point So I'm gonna be drilling aluminum with a split point. Okay. Okay, that is really tough to get started I will not drill into steel or aluminum without creating a center point okay. or starting point So I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna get it a little more heavy Okay, I'm gonna bring it right to that point because I got to drill that and you're gonna see where that little point actually really helps okay. get that bit started. It prevents the bit from wandering. Uh, okay. Hey, do you remember what this one is? Vix bit. Okay, so this is the one you put in your drill, okay, and it's spring loaded, but what's really important, you see that taper or conical tip? If you've ever set a hinge, okay, when we look at the hinge, it has, it's hard to get the center of that. Okay, but what this does is this fits right in there and it allows you to drill perfectly in the center. And you'll see how I just made the mark there. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one here is the same thing. See that? That creates a point. The important thing to remember about that, if you don't have a VIX, port, VIX bit or you don't have a center punch that has that conical tip to find the, that little part of that countersink, mm -hmm. it's, it's so important because a hinge, if it's not, if that screw doesn't go in, the, um, the taper on that screw will take it off center and oh. it'll cock the hinge. So this is so important to have the right centering tool for the hinge for those screws. Makes sense. <laughs> All right, Sedge, what are these? They're called transfer punches. <laughs> um, I was in the middle, God, this was so long ago. I was in the middle of building something once, a jig. I forget what for, and I asked my buddy Dave, I go, how do I get this hole, this is 516's hole, mm -hmm. and I want to drill this out here while I have it just like this. He said, use a transfer punch. I said, what are those? And that's when I learned about them. And I just, they're just so important. This is a machinist tool. You're going to notice that there's a center point on there. Oh, okay. Okay. And what it does is it transfers. That's a 516th. I want to show you how accurate this is because as I take it and tap it in, there's no play. No. Okay. And I can take that now and I know that that's dead centered. That I can take it to my drill press and drill it out. Oh, okay. And it transfers that point from a larger piece. I've used it on thinner material sometimes because I want that perfect transfer through. Hmm. So there you go. So as you can see, Getting things lined up for center is really important. Very important. And as we always say, be positive. Stay sharp. <laughs>